What's up, y'all? Got a banger from the China Observer. Let's get straight into it. I am 38 years old with a master's degree. I am a high-quality single woman. I originally thought that in Hangzhou I could find an equally high-quality bachelor, but until I turned 38 this year, I realized that those high-quality single men didn't even look at me. You're invisible to them. You're 38. I will say these Asian women do age like wine, though. She looks young. Now the ones chasing after me are rural bachelors. In other words, if I want to get married, I can only marry into the countryside. Oh no, it's over. I really can't get married anymore. I'm already 34 years old. What should I do? My mum is still waiting for grandchildren. Do I really have to resort to buying sperm for artificial insemination? It's so scary. I want a man. This is my undergraduate degree from Qingdao University of Science and Technology, and this is just so funny to me that like a lot of these Western ways have been pushed over to China too. It's crazy, bro. Master's degree from a private university in Seoul. We don't care. You don't need to understand Korean. This is the official certification of my master's degree. Stamped with an official seal. We don't care. If I were to falsify any documents, I'd be in prison. I graduated with my master's degree in 2015. In 2016, I obtained temporary residency in Shanghai. Here are the property deeds for my two houses. This is the purchase contract and keys for my property in Jiaxing, Shanghai. You can see my fingerprints at the bottom. If the rain stops in a couple of days, I can show you my house in Jiaxing. I couldn't find the purchase contract for the house in Hangzhou, but I'll show you the property there in a few. Days. This is one of my BMW cars, and this is one of my electric cars. Although it's not valuable, it's genuinely enjoyable to drive. I'm 34 years old with a master's degree, two houses, and two cars. Previously, I earned around 300,000 yuan per year, but now it's around 150,000 yuan. If I were a man, I'd be highly desirable in the dating market. There would be many girls interested in me. But you're not a man. <laughs> You're a woman. You spent all this time getting your education, and look what happened to you. <laughs> Could easily pick someone, but just because I'm a woman, I have little value in the dating market. Facts. The people others introduce to me are either financially destitute older bachelors or divorced individuals with children, or even unemployed rural singles. Does a woman lose her value as she ages? Yes. <laughs> How do you not know that? <laughs> yes. Your value drastically declines as you get older, honey. Even if she's accomplished, my requirements aren't particularly high. I prefer someone over 1.8 meters tall,、mm. good-looking. My requirements aren't really that high. It's just there's there's certain things you have to be born with, or you know, I'm not even going to consider you. Bro, make it make sense. Fair-skinned with big eyes, preferably humorous and able to have fun with me. It doesn't matter where they're from, but they must have their own career. Although each of these partner preferences sound normal, it's difficult to find someone who meets all of them. Her name is Jiati, a true Beijing girl. At 38, she still has a sweet appearance with a car and a house. Since she was young, Jiati has had a princess dream, with her room filled with various Hello Kitty decorations. As the only child in the family, her parents treat her like a princess. This is why I say don't treat these only child girls as princesses because they they go buck around and then they get a Hello Kitty room. What in the actual H E double <laughs> hockey sticks is this? You're a grown ass woman. What in the buck are you doing? Praising her even for washing dishes at home. Seeing his daughter getting older, her father often advises her to be more practical and not set her partner standards too high. Although Jiaqi still baby girl, you're beat at best. In no way, shape, or form do you deserve all the things that that you are requiring. You know what you deserve? A man that has a pulse. If he can breathe, you're good. Doesn't believe it's her problem. Her desire to get off the singles market remains strong. I want to have one person riding a white horse. I really hope that someone will ride a white horse, tread on colorful clouds, and come to me saying, "I finally come to pick you up. You're my wife for life." This is a thirty-something-year-old woman thinking a man's gonna come down on a white stallion and sweep you off your feet, honey. Are you stupid? Oh my god. <laughs> I might not place too much emphasis on material things. My bottom line is that she should be able to afford a down payment in Beijing. That's my bottom line. 
If I were to pursue a girl of the same age, to be honest, I might feel a bit shortchanged because, in my opinion, a girl's most precious asset is her youth. Based. How intense is today's dating scene in China? Take this 37-year-old female Oof. master's graduate, Huang Yan, for example. She was once a top student and campus beauty. Growing up as an only child in a well-off family, Huang Yan received meticulous care from her mother throughout her schooling. Mm. Her father insisted she keep her distance from boys and focus on her studies. Over time, this you misled that woman so bad. D distant yourself from men? No. You need to try to procure a man while you're in college. Have you guys ever heard the phrase "get a ring by spring"? That's what you should do. Get a ring by spring, ladies. Get you a man in college that's like an architectural engineer or he's going to med school or he's doing something. Attach yourself at the hip and be like, I'm going to be your ride or die. Because here's the thing. Here is the thing. Ladies, you have two options. You really do. You either get with a man when he's a villager and then help him build himself up to become a king or you get with a man when he's a king and then you share him amongst his concubines. Which one do you want? Oh, you, you want the latter? Okay, well, be ready to share him because he built this entire dynasty that he has for himself. He built this entire empire. So you think he's just going to come in and be faithful to you? What are you? Stupid. Come on. He's not going to want to just be faithful to you. So you better get you a man when he's a villager because most of these men that are C-level executives that have built themselves up and they were with a woman when they were a bum, now they're faithful to these women. But they're not going to be faithful to a woman that he's done everything by himself and then you come in he's like, I'm just going to have my flavor of the week like Baskin Robbins, baby. I'm not going to sit here and be faithful to you when I could have seven different flavors. Stop, dude. And that's, that's the delusion that a lot of these women live in is that they think that, oh, well, he's going to build himself up and then I'll just come in at the very end and then he'll just want to just be with me. No, that's not what we're going to do. We're going to share you or you're going to have to share us. This led Huang Yan to have little interest in dating and she never cared much about others' opinions on the matter. Graduating with excellent grades from medical school, Huang Yan smoothly transitioned into becoming a doctor at a top Beijing hospital. At the start of her career, she was young, beautiful and had excellent qualifications, leading her to have high standards for her partner. After several unsuccessful blind dates, she finds herself at 37, feeling the pressure from her parents and worrying about not being able to find a spouse. With the help of a best friend, her marriage agency introduced Huang Yan to a divorced PhD graduate who was four years younger. They decided to meet at a tennis court since both of them enjoyed sports. The man wore black framed glasses, had a square face and a robust physique. After an exhilarating game of tennis, they both felt invigorated. He went by the name Lao Han. Huang Yan felt a slight attraction towards Lao Han. They then went to a hot pot restaurant for dinner. Initially, they got along quite well, but during their conversation, Lao Han lost interest in Huang Yan. Lao Han. They said you'd never been in a relationship before. Huang Yan. That's right, I've never been in one. <laughs> You've never been in a relationship? the history of everdom oh my god <laughs> bro that's the biggest red flag if you ever ever meet a girl and you ask her hey what's your longest relationship she goes i've never been in a relationship in the date check please i would be out of there i'd be i'd be like i gotta scram wait a second i'm just i got a call from my huh yeah you're in jail all right i, I gotta go i just have to leave i can't even ah oh, god i want to stay god i'm having such a good time but i gotta go can you get the bell <laughs> that's what i would do get out of there buddy never had a relationship <laughs> oh my god do you mind that I've been divorced? Huang Yan didn't directly answer and pondered for a moment. I think the person matters more. Lahan persisted. I don't know how girls view this matter. Feeling that the topic was too sensitive for a first meeting, Huang Yan ended the conversation with just a few words. After Huang Yan changed the subject, Lao Han's demeanor turned cold. He felt that Huang Yan wasn't being sincere enough and couldn't discuss the matter with him openly. He felt she wasn't interested in understanding him or discussing their future together. Hey. The blind date ended shortly after. For Lao Han, his previous marriage didn't work out well. 
Besides looks and physique, his ex-wife wasn't suitable in other aspects and didn't bring warmth to the family. Now he wanted to find someone who could take care of the home, a mature woman to settle but, down with. Don't, don't go get you a doctor. Don't go get you a career woman. Go, you're, dude, you're in, if he's in his 40s or something like that, I don't know how old he is because these Asian people be aging so well. But if you're in your 40s, bro, go pluck you out a little like 24-year-old girl that just escaped the Amish community that can actually cook and clean. You know what I'm saying? Like, But the thing is, most of these modern women today don't even know how to make scrambled eggs. The only scrambled eggs they know about is the scrambled eggs between their legs. I'm just gonna keep it a buck. With. On the way home, Huang Yan discussed Lao Han with her best friend. It was evident that Huang Yan still had some interest in Lao Han and was willing to continue getting to know him. However, when she tried to add Lao Han's contact information to her phone, he declined. Feeling confused, Huang Yan wondered why things couldn't continue. Her friend analyzed the situation, saying that when Lao Han asked how she viewed his divorce, she responded with an indifferent attitude. Lao Han felt she wasn't mature or sincere enough, so he didn't see the need to waste time. Furthermore, besides the difficulty in getting married, the emergence of single women may be more due to not wanting to marry. They hold an attitude of not settling or forcing themselves into marriage. I was born in 1983, so I'm 40 years old this year. Damn. I'm single with no children. 40? She looks good for 40. And, and I think I might end up being single for the rest of my life. You will be, honey. Recently, many people have been introducing potential partners to me, but I've declined all of them. I'm not very interested in meeting new people, as getting to know someone from scratch feels exhausting. And if it doesn't work out, it's just a waste of time. And the see, that's the thing with a lot of these women they get a lot older they're like well what's the use what's the point i don't even there's no it's like bro you got to get out there and you got to go cut your teeth you got to go learn something new and but the thing is these older women don't want to learn anything they do and they don't want to learn anything new they just want to do what's comfy as of many single women, economic stability is one of the important factors for a stable marriage. Therefore, the phenomenon of brides requesting dowries before marriage is quite prevalent. I ain't gonna pay a dowry for a 40-year-old woman, you must be out of your damn mind! 40? Uh-uh. The high cost of dowries has skyrocketed marriage expenses, causing many young men to hesitate. There's even a girl demanding a dowry of 5 million yuan. Such a demand undoubtedly caused a huge... Hey, somebody Google that. How much is 5 million yen in USD? ...uproar in the matchmaking market. Do you expect a dowry for your marriage? Of course. Can you give us an estimate of how much? I think with my qualifications, it has to be at least 5 million yuan. See, that's the thing. These women think their qualifications or their education makes them more valuable. It doesn't. Honey, you look like Earthworm Jim. What the buck are you even talking about? You deserve 5 million won, yen, whatever. Could you tell us about your situation? She's mid! I prefer a man who is 1.8 meters tall, Six owns foot. a house and a car, and earns a million yuan annually. I don't know how much I meant is. your personal qualifications, not your criteria for a partner. My personal qualifications? I have a bachelor's degree. See? I'm 170 centimeters tall, I live with my parents, and I work as a receptionist for the I monthly- I live with mommy, daddy, but I want you gotta make a million. Bro, shut that- just- what the- it's, it's even crazy in China. You've seen Western women. I just wanted, I wanted to react to this because I was like, what is it like in China? Because that's on the whole opposite side of the planet. But they're the same. The salary of 3,500 yen. After the video was released, it sparked heated discussions online. Just grow old slowly in the sweet anticipation of love. Some people mocked, you should marry an alien instead. <laughs> in recent years, the number of single women in China has surged. According to statistics, there are currently about 116 million single women in China, forming a unique social trend. Damn. Among them, the increasing number of unmarried female white-collar workers are referred to as high-quality single women. High, wait, 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 wait. They call them high-quality single women? Would you guys call them high-quality? Uh... I, when I think high quality woman, I'm thinking young, fit, feminine friendly, cooperative, submissive, no kids. I, According I'm not to the prevailing Chinese saying, they are education. left alone because they are outstanding. High quality single women often have a relatively high. Bro, I, swear to, I swear to Jeepers, I thought they called them leftover women. They don't call them high. 
man. Social status are economically independent and pursue freedom in life. But this group also faces significant negative societal judgments. Today, female white-collar workers in the workplace have more freedom and choices, but they still face considerable pressure and distress regarding marriage. They are often pressured by parents, relatives, and friends to get married,、Ooh. to stop pursuing their careers, lower their standards, and stop being so picky about potential spouses. Because usually, successful women like these are looking for partners who have better economic conditions and higher social status. They hope to find successful men with annual incomes of tens or even hundreds of thousands, or who own multiple houses and have various requirements regarding height, personality, etc. But truly outstanding men are few in number. As a result, the age of these leftover women keeps increasing, but their ideal partners never appear. Their mentality of preferring to remain single rather than settle for less keeps them persistently single. In the long wait, youth fades away irreversibly. But what causes anxiety among older women is that, compared to men, women's fertility is naturally limited by age. Medically, pregnant women over 35 are considered to be in the category of advanced. Yep, geriatric. Maternal age, while men can still have normal fertility even into the. What was the his name? What was it? Al Pacino or something like that? Busting in like a 21-year-old. That man's a savage. Twenties. The consequences of advanced maternal age, such as a fivefold increase. Bro, they have in all the- these like really, really upper echelon, <laughs> like high vernacular,、uh, advanced maternal age. It's geriatric pregnancy, dude. You're old. Your eggs are dried up. They've shriveled up. It's it's a wrap for you, dude. It's a wrap. But no, like I said, the reason I wanted to react to this is because I wanted. I know we react to a lot of like modern women in the West, but this stuff is happening in China too. This is why you got to go to those third world countries. You got to go to the Philippines. You got to go to Thailand. You know, Cambodia. You got to go to these. Because if you go to China, then you're going to run into these women. They're like, I have a master's degree, and I have this. Modern women here in the West are doing the same exact thing. They think that their education, their knowledge, and their career equates to their value, and the opposite is true. We would rather marry a girl on fries at McDonald's than a girl that has a master's from Purdue. This is why you can see a chick that looks like Precious that went to Harvard that got no man, but a woman that looks like Adriana Lima that works at McDonald's and get a man. You know what I'm saying? She can look like Beyonce and be on fries at Burger King and get a man, but if she looks like Precious and goes to Stanford, ain't no man looking for her. Cause no man's walking around and be like, "Where are all the college-educated women at? Where are they at? I'm trying to find them." No, none of us are doing that. <laughs> unless, unless you guys are. Are you looking for a chick with a master's? Because the statistics aren't good. They're not good. The more educated she is, the more likely she is to dump your ass. Just saying. That's why I always say, like, hey, bachelors and down, it, preferably high school diploma. I want them to have a GED that's good enough for me. That's what I say. You guys can steal that one. If she got a GED, that's good enough for me. I don't want you to have all these qualifications because these women think that that adds to their value. Like I said in、uh, previous episodes, man, these women go out there and get these degrees, and they think that that equates to their value. No, that's what equates to our value as men. We go out there and we gather resources, we gather knowledge, we gather like a certain acumen in a certain field, high value skills. That's where we gain value because when we gain these certain traits, we can make more money. And you women like money, you like chichings, you like dollar bills, you like money. So we got to go make the money. We got to go build ourselves up, be the best version of ourselves. Because here's the thing, dude: women are born with their value. You're born with your beauty. You don't have to earn any of it. Men have to go out in the marketplace, and we have to earn our value. So, which one's harder? Don't worry, I'll wait. Exactly, it's much harder to be a man of value than it is to be a woman of value. As a woman of value, eighteen to twenty-four, boom, you got all your value right there. Go, go, bag a man. The legend of bag a man. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of you ladies think your degrees and things matter. They don't. And we're seeing this in China. And the, and another reason I wanted to show you guys this video is because they explain it like at a very basic level. A lot of these women here, we're just reacting to like rage bait stuff. Like these women are just going crazy. They're totally out of their gourd. These women here are actually educated. They understand, and they're just getting. They're still getting left behind because they're not able to get on a man's page. And once you're old enough, it doesn't matter how many degrees you have. 
We don't care. We want you to have your youth, your fertility, your virtue. We want you to have a cookbook, be able to take care of a man, inspire a man, be feminine, beautiful, inspirational. But a lot of you ladies just miss the mark. And it's okay. Start a petting zoo. <laughs> get you a little iguana. Get you a rabbit. Get you a little puppy. Put some little hay down and put the little circus music on. And let all your girlfriends come around and pet the, pet the pets and the little baby pigs. Let them do that. Do that instead. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.